Hello kids, how are you? I hope you all are fine and doing your work well on time. So today we are going to complete our chapter Poonam's Day Out. So first of all, we have learnt in this chapter that how Poonam found animals on the tree and at the pond. Okay? And after that, we learn that different animals have different type of sounds. Right? And in a previous session, we learn that how animals move when they want to go from one place to another. And after that, we learn that some animals have wings, some have feet or some have tails also right and after that we discover that where we can found these animals we can found some animals on the branches and some on the leaves some on the ground so we have discussed all these things in our previous sessions so now we are going to start the book work okay so on the page number two we have done these two questions before that which animals Poonam found on the tree in that picture that are pigeon, squirrel, crow, monkey, butterflies, cuckoo and parrot and sparrow. So these animals Poonam found on the tree and after that which animals Poonam found at the pond. So Poonam found goat, tortoise, egret, buffaloes, frogs and black white slit. S-T-I-L-T. These animals Poonam found at the pond. So now we are going to do the page number 3. So in a previous session we learned that how animals move when they want to go from one place to another right so here you have to write the names that which animals can fly crawl walk hop and which animals have wings which have feet and which animals have a tail so you have to write three names in each category okay so first of all we have to write the names of the animals which can fly so here we are going to write parrot crow sparrow so these animals fly when they want to move after that which animals can crawl lizard turtle crocodile so these animals crawl which animals can walk horse buffalo cow these animals walk which animals can hop frog kangaroo rabbit these animals hop and after that we have to write that which animals have wings and they use them to fly pigeon sparrow parrot these animals have wings which animals have feet cow goat beer these animals have feet and now which animals have a tail lots of animals have tails so we are going to write here monkey cow and buffalo these animals have a tail so you will write here the names of these animals so now we are going to do the page number four so here you can see some pictures of animals right so you have to color those animals that do not live in your house so we will color those animals that do not live in our house उन एनिमल्स के पिक्चर्स को कलर करना है जो हमारे साथ हमारे घर में नहीं रहते ओके लाइक हॉर्स हॉर्स डू नॉट लिव 
in houses right and this is picture of eagle eagle also don't live in houses elephant fishes swan and this is chameleon chameleon means girgit so these animals do not live in the houses okay and this is a picture of hen hen also do not live in the houses so you will color the picture of these animals because they do not live in a house horse elephant fish swan eagle chameleon and hen these animals do not live in our house so now we are going to do the page number 5 okay so here are three pic three incomplete pictures of some animals okay so what you will do you will uh, first of all complete that picture the com you will complete that missing body part of that animal and after that you will write the name of that animal okay so here as you can see this is a picture of dog right so but his foot is missing so you will draw it and here you will write the name and you can see his tail also missing right so we have made his tail and after that second picture is of a fish but it its tail is missing so you will draw it and here you will write the fish so in the third picture it's on your imagination you can see it as a cockroach also and you can see it as a butterfly also so you will draw the missing parts and here you will write the name that uh, how can you see that animal it's a cockroach or it's a butterfly it's your wish okay so after this we are going to solve this puzzle okay who am i find my name in the crossword and put a circle around it one example has been given so here are some clues so first of all we will read these clues okay after that we will guess that which animal is this okay and after guessing in this crossword we have to find its name and and circle that name ओके सबसे पहले आप इस क्लू को पढ़ोगे और गैस करोगे कि ये कौन सा एनिमल है और उसका नाम गैस करने के बाद आप इस क्रॉसवर्ड में से उसके नेम को सर्कल करोगे ओके सो द फर्स्ट इज बनाना इज व्हाट आई लव ईटिंग आई स्पेंड माय टाइम जंपिंग एंड लीपिंग सो विच एनिमल्स लव ईटिंग बनाना and spend its time jumping and leaping it is monkey okay so here you can see the name is encircled monkey m o n k e y monkey okay after this number 2 on the walls webs i weave where insects stick and can not leave so which animal can weave the webs which animal can make the webs on the walls do you know that that is spider spider can make webs on the walls so here you can see its name s p i d e r right so we what we'll do we'll encircle this name now number 3 i remain awake the whole night and go to sleep in broad daylight so which animal awake the whole night kaun sa animal hai jo puri raat jaagta hai that is owl here we can see its name o w l so here we are going to encircle its name okay number 4 croak 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 is my sound in water or at on land i am found so which animal make the sound of croak 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 and we can found it in water and on land so this is frog 
so here in the fourth line we can see its name f r o g right so this is going to be encircled after this number 5 i appear after rainfall have no feet so i crawl so this animal have no feet and it can only crawl so which animal is this this is snail s n a i l right so you will encircle its name after this the last one is slow and steady is my pace i always win when there is a race so which animal won the race do you remember and it's very slow and steady but still it won the race that is tortoise so in the race of rabbit and tortoise tortoise won the race so here its name t o r t o i s e right so you will encircle its name so now we are going to do the page number 8 so do you remember that in a previous session we have learned that where we can found some animals we can found some animal on branches some on leaves some on trunks some on ground right so here in this question we are going to write these names okay which animals we can found on the branches kaun se animals aise hote hain jo branches pe milte hain that is parrot monkey and crow okay and on the leaves grasshopper beetle caterpillar these animals we can find on the leaves and on the trunk squirrel termites ants these animals we can found on the trunk and on the ground rat snake rabbit okay after this around the tree which animals we can found around the tree crow dog cat so you will write here the names of this animals okay and after that we have to arrange these names by size so first of all we will write the name of that animal which is smallest in between all these so which animals is smallest that is termite we can barely see it it is very small so now we are going to arrange these names by size so which animal is smallest termite second is ant third is beetle caterpillar grasshopper rat parrot crow squirrel snake rabbit cat dog monkey and at the end cow because cow is the largest among all okay so this is how we will do this question so there is one activity that you have to do in your notebook on the plain side okay so first of all you will write a chapter number 1 and after this the name of activity that is magic with fingers okay so in this activity you have to draw pictures of some animals by using thumb paint okay how you can thumb paint you will color your thumb and you will put your thumb impression okay you will put color on your thumb and then you will put the impression okay this is how you can thumb paint and here i made two pictures by using thumb paint one is butterfly and second is dog okay so you have to make two pictures of animals by using thumb paint okay you can make any other picture also okay and don't close your notebook until it's dried out okay so our chapter is done now hope you will do this well on time and 
at the end of the video i will attach the screenshots so you can do it easily okay see you next time bye bye